Hold that line right there. So as you get that spine locked in, don't move that. And all we want you to do is just fight from that piriformal line. Just really think about holding that clamshell open. Keep pressing up, but as she pushes you down, don't let it negatively affect your posture. Don't let it rotate your shoulders. Don't let it rotate your spine. Definitely don't let it break your arm positioning. We're coming down the pipe. We've got another 15 seconds left, and then you guys will flip rolls. Hold, hold her up, hold her up, hold her up. It only works if you fight as much as you can against that tension that you can't overcome. Three, two, one, flip rolls. Now same principle applies on our hip abduction. We've got the hands all the way through the arms, covering the ears through the back of the neck, shoulders, T-spine, all the way into the low back and into that tailbone. Now from there, the feet should be lined up in coordination with the rest of that spine. So thus we get a good clamshell up over top. So those heels should be pretty close to your butt as long as you keep that alignment protected. Hold that line. You've got 10 seconds. You're going to flip over. So 60 seconds per side. Hold that. Hold that. Push her up. Push her up. Push them up. Push them up. Push them up. Very good. Nice job. Switch. And you're on the other side. Go get them. So now out of these power rainbows as we're bringing that single weight over top, driving that thumb, the contralateral thumb over top really forces, so that scabbard position forces you to counter torque in an attempt to rotate that over. But what we want to do is try to move that in the opposite direction. So as that left shoulder comes over top, we want to push the hips in the opposite direction to give it the impression that there's zero movement of those hips. Very good. Nice job, Carrie. Atta girl. Up and over and push your butt back. Clear. Skill acquisition. Go.